Jason Dean. Greetings and salutations. You a Heather? No. I'm a Veronica. Sawyer. This may seem like a really stupid question. And there are no stupid questions. Is a hot dog a sandwich? Why? Do we park in driveways and drive in parkways? Is cereal a soup? Do fish get thirsty? When does it stop being partly cloudy and when does it start being partly sunny? I've been told before to expect the unexpected. But if I expect the unexpected, then does the unexpected not become the expected? Hmm? Eh? Is it Yanni or Laurel? Can you daydream at night? Is a thumb a finger? Is chess a sport? Are eyebrows considered facial hair? That's the stupidest question I've ever heard. How would modern society respond to Korbanot in the third Beta Mikdash? Why do bad things happen to good people? Um, something I've wondered about Judaism is how religious Jews' day-to-day -to -day lives has changed over the course of history. What do you think is more important, studying Torah or doing good deeds? Why do we pray when God knows all our thoughts? To what extent do we have free will and at what point do our actions become our responsibility? Is it more important to help yourself, help your family, help your community or help the world? What's the point of chuva if we're probably going to stuff up all over again? Why do we value tradition so highly? Even if we have the technologies and the understanding, that mean boundaries that were put in place in the past aren't relevant anymore. There's a story told in the Gemara in Bava Mitziah about Rabbi Yochanan, who was lost in his population and grieving that loss. Um, and the rabbis send um, Rabbi Lazar bin Padat to go and comfort him, to learn with him, to sort of um, be with him during the grieving. And the two of them are learning together. And every time Rabbi Yochanan brings some sort of uh, rule of Lazar bin Padat rule, search and find some sort of proof of his ruling and say, yeah, there's a proof for this, there's a proof for this, sort of validating everything you said. Um, presumably seeming like, you know, as a form of comfort, like in this hard time, like when you validate everything he says. Um, and Rabbi Yochanan turns to him and says, like, do you think this equates to Reish Lakish? Do you think what you're doing is what you did? He used to bring for everything that I said, 24 proofs against what I said. And because of that, the halacha was sharpened and my ideas were refined. And you are coming along and telling me that I'm right. You think I don't know that I have that is validity to what I'm saying? Um, this doesn't compensate for what I've just lost. Mm -hmm.